I originally made this episode because I saw this device um, on a TikTok video and I wanted to try it out. And after purchasing an Amazon and giving it a go in this video, which you'll later on see, I decided it was really not worth the money. But that being said, I like making karagis anyway because it is one of the items that are very fun to eat. And I have very fond memories of it because when I was traveling through Japan, I was in a city in uh, Shinjuku that was also as part of Little Tokyo. I, there's this small little shop that made uh, karage and pretty much only had karage and beer. And it was one of the best karage I have. It was just something about it being sweet, juicy. It had a very nice glaze on it. And it was just absolutely amazing. But that being all said, I, when I first moved to this to city, um, I remember finding this place that just opened that also did something very similar where they serve karage and they had beer and some little accompaniments to accompany your karage. But their main focus was karage. And it pretty much gave me an experience that reminded me of that small restaurant that was in Shinjuku by the train station. And I love that restaurant so much. When it first opened, I went there and I went there two, three other times that week because I loved it so much. Went there, got some karage, got a couple of side dishes to go with it and had some beer. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Unfortunately, with the the opening of that restaurant was very untimely because it was maybe about a month or two before the pandemic began and the lockdown started and that restaurant just never survived and unfortunately that restaurant closed down the i felt really bad for the owner and he himself was a very unique characteristic uh japanese guy was really into reggae because he had dreads the full you know jamaican groove going on very interesting well, hope you enjoyed this episode. Enjoy.